What's up, everyone? Mark Lovon here, TigerFitness.com. Let's talk about eccentrics. There are a lot of experts, a lot of training experts online telling you that you have to do an ultra slow eccentric so that you maximize your muscle gains. Now, some of you might have heard in, back in the day about something called super slow training. It's where you come down slow, you come up slow. I met a few elderly people who did that. It was a thing for like a minute and thankfully it went away. Now, we know through data that when you're pushing a bench press, especially in powerlifting, you want to try and move it as fast as possible under control. And when you hear a powerlifter say, wow, that moved really well, that moved really fast, that means that you're able to generate enough force to move it quickly. Because when you're moving a heavy weight off of you, you want to recruit as much muscle fiber as possible, push it as forcefully as possible. And if it's heavier, it's going to move slower. And if it's within your power range, it's going to move faster. So our goal with athletes is to move as much weight as fast as possible. So when we're looking at eccentrics, and you look at a lot of these guys, they're saying, well, you want to come down really slow, get the stretch, hold it, and then come up, controlled yet powerful. I'm all about the controlled yet powerful. But I think we are misinterpreting the data when it comes to eccentrics. Now, looking through the copious amounts of data on eccentric training, when you look at the hypertrophy studies done on that kind of training done on eccentrics. The reason they experienced more muscle growth is because they were using weight they couldn't push. Meaning that if you have a bench press, let's say your, your, rep, your one rep max, your three rep max is 300 pounds, okay? You put on 315, you come down in a slow eccentric, and then someone helps you push it up. You come down in a slow eccentric, someone helps you push it up. Now the misinterpretation of the data is using loads that you can do, let's say four to eight reps with, and you're taking that overloaded eccentric beyond your concentric, which is pushing out. Eccentric is basically coming down and concentric is pushing up. So you're taking that overloaded data and you're saying that that is going to translate directly into if you did a non-overloaded eccentric. With that being said, I don't think that's the way to go. I think it's a waste of energy and it's gonna take away from the muscle recruitment in the powerful concentric of pushing the weight. Now, am I saying just drop the weight down to your chest? No, lift under control. So I'm not saying one, 1,000, two, 1,000, no, no. I'm not saying drop it. I'm saying come down nice and controlled, whatever lift it is, and explode up. Full range of motion, you don't have to hold it at the bottom, you don't have to have that. And another thing is stretch mediated hypertrophy. Okay, yeah, there, there is data on that, but not in that setting, not with those conditions. Now, I'm not saying that that is not a right way to lift. I'm not saying that doing a slower eccentric is a bad thing. I'm saying that, if you're after the most muscle growth, I disagree. And that doesn't mean I'm right, that just means I have a different opinion, a different interpretation of the data. Try both ways, see which works for you. However, when I'm looking at prescribing hypertrophy programs for people, I'm gonna tell them, I don't want a six second countdown on the eccentric. Now I'll do that for athletes because we wanna train deceleration, but if you're after hypertrophy, I'm not really worried about that. Okay, what I want you to do is bring the weight down under control and push it up as explosive as safely possible. I say safely because I don't want you coming out and pushing so hard that your form breaks. Let's say we're using a bench press example. Your elbows flare out, you tear a pec. That's dumb. Under control, whew, whew. Okay, that's what I'm looking at. But again, the problem with science guys is they take data and they apply it as a black or white scenario. Now, we do know that heavy overloaded eccentrics with beyond your concentric ability will break down and build muscle. It just happens. It's pretty much research, basically it, it, it's pointing heavily to that. However, when you're training, 
Don't bother with eh, hold for two seconds. Eh, no. Come down under control. Boom, boom. That's what I'm looking at. What do you guys think? Let me know. Anyway, that's my opinion on it. My opinion of many opinions could be wrong. Research might prove that I'm an idiot in a couple weeks, but based on the existing data, that is my recommendation. Another recommendation is to support this channel. I want to let you know that cookie dough and s'mores outright bars are back in stock at tigerfitness.com. So I'm going to give you a deal, a coupon code for the entire site, every single product on tigerfitness.com. Coupon code DOUGH, D-O-U-H, DOUGH. Put that in at checkout. It saves you 10% off of everything, whether it's MTS Way, whether it's Blackstone Labs, whether it's Ghost Energy Drinks. We got your back. Go to tigerfitness.com. That's how you support this channel, okay, guys? Anyway, what do you think? Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Am I stupid? Am I right? Am I wrong? Do we need more data? Let me know. Help me with the algorithm. Comment, like, subscribe. I need all your help to build this channel back up from the shadow ban I got in 2020 for mentioning vitamin D is something that can help you with viruses. Go figure. I can say it now. I don't know why. But anyway, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Go to tigerfitness.com. Save 10%. And if you want more information, I do have a nightly podcast on X and Rumble called Evening Rants. Um, just go ahead and search in either of those and you'll find it with Alan Roberts. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm Mark Lobliner. That's not a game. MTS Nutrition Machine Way is the best protein in the world, and we want everyone to try it. The problem is, what flavor should you try? We made it easy. For $9.99, you get four of our best flavors, peanut butter cookies and cream, mint cookies and cream, chocolate chip cookie, and fruit cereal, plus a free shaker cup. Anyway, tigerfitness.com has it. Go get it now. Try it, and we know that you will fall in love with MTS Way.